So in this video, I'm going to talk about activating your intuition and your third eye. So I'm going to go over what it means to do it, give you some great exercises that you can start doing, and then at the end of the video, a meditation that you can do to start activating your intuition today. My name is Gloria. I'm a life coach, and I have information on that below. So what is our intuition? Our intuition is that hunch. Maybe that gut feeling, that feeling it's a hunch that this is right. This is the direction I should go in. So what's really one of the important things about intuition is getting in touch with your body. Really being mindful and aware of being able to pick up those signals when they come to you. Because we're all intuitive. It's just activating it. Now we hear a lot about the third eye, the third eye chakra, and that's the pineal gland that is located in our brain. Scientifically, it is a teeny little gland, almost the size of a thing of rice, a little uh, bead of rice, and it secretes melatonin. Spiritually, the th pineal gland is the gateway to consciousness. That is our intuition. Now, there's also a lot written about the pineal gland gets calcified over the years and will affect our intuition. And the ways that the research shows to uncalcify it is, of course, our diet, eating a lot of fresh fruits, vegetables, healthy, high vibration food, vitamin D, spending time in the sun, of course, exercise, and things to avoid are, of course, sugar being the number one, fluoride is a big thing, excessive alcohol, and tobacco. So to keep it flowing and uncalcified, that is what the research shows. Something that I always thought of, I thought, okay, third eye, when I started doing things, exercises for intuition, I thought, I'm going to see visions. I've got to in meditation, close my eyes, open my third eye, and I'm going to have all these visions. Well, that may happen. But your intuition, even though it comes through your third eye, can come many different ways. It could be by a vision, something you see. It could be by something you hear, a message, a sound. It could be something you uh, see as like numbers repeating themselves. It could be an insight like that, boom, that light bulb moment. Or, and this is why it's important to get touch with your body, it could be that feeling you have, that gut feeling, and maybe it's in your gut, maybe it's in your throat, maybe you get shivers up your body. So be aware that your intuition can come many different ways. Not just the gut feeling and not just that vision from your third eye, it could come, you have to, be open and aware of any symbols, images, uh, repeating numbers, things that come to you that way. It could be a book that falls off a shelf. There's a lot of different, it could be something you hear. High-pitched tones in the um, ears, a message you hear. So be aware and open to how the message may come to you. Now, why do we want to open our third eye and our intuition. Well, it gives us closer, gets us close to hearing the guidance from our spirit guides and angels. There would be a closer connection there. It's an energy awareness, and this is energy awareness of people, plants, animals. It's knowing what to do, that intuition to know what to do, that inner knowing. And it helps you trust your decisions. So there's a lot of good reasons to work on your intuition. And what I suggest is you're working on it maybe 10 minutes a day. And it's also important to keep a list of your successes. Because I know when I started working with this, I thought, oh, no, no, that couldn't be. I'm, I'm just making this up. It's all in my head. It's not really my intuition. But then I started keeping a list of the successes. And the, when you do that, you become more confident about trusting in your inner knowing, and that will expound. So 
How do we activate it? Well, there's a lot of different ways and I'm gonna go over a bunch of them now. And I also want you to be aware of, you can do one, two, but a combination of these is really great. And what may work for you may not work for the uh, next person. So you have to experiment with all these. One is body movements, keeping the energy going through your body. Yoga is really good. Downward dog, getting that blood into your brain. So remember the movement, keeping the energy moving through your body and yoga is really good for your intuition. That's one. Second is music. And the music is 852 Hertz. A lot of videos on that here on YouTube, listening to 852 Hertz music. And again, you could do this, put, do yoga with listening to the music at the same time. Another is affirmations. Affirmations are magic. Our words are magic. So positive affirmations about opening your intuition and third eye. And in the meditation we're going to do at the end, I'm going to give you, a, I think, a great little affirmation I wrote about that. Another are oils, especially frankincense and lavender. So you might want to, when you're meditating, put these on your third eye or just have them around in a, um, one of those infusers. In an infuser, maybe an incense, but essential oils like that help also. Another, crystals. And of course, the crystal of your choice, a lot of people recommend amethyst. And this could be amethyst just having around you when you're working on your intuition. Could be putting them on your third eye even. So crystals are really good. Another is visualizations. Visualizations really um, put us in that zone. And if you're just starting to visualize, it can be a little bit difficult so the way I suggest to start is just put an object before you and just look at the object. Spend some time looking at the object. When the thoughts come, let them go, go back to the object. And then close your eyes and see if you could remember what that object looked like. So visualizations are great for intuition because it will also help you become aware of the different signs, symbols, and images that will come to you. Another is breath work. Of course, we always go over breath work. Deep breathing. This puts your body in a state of relaxation. Relaxing before doing intuitive work is vital. Whether you're visualizing, meditating, deep breathe, just doing the breathing, you need to be in a very relaxed state to be open to the symbols, images, sounds that will be coming to you. Another, of course, is meditation. And there's a lot of meditations out there, even on YouTube, different apps that help you specifically with intuition and activating your third eye. And the last is different exercises to do, different techniques that will help. I mentioned to you the list, the list of your successes. Another one, this is a quick one, but I, I just love doing it. I want you to think of two friends, maybe two friends that you haven't seen for a while, and you close your eyes and think of them one at a time. Close your eyes and imagine that friend right in front of you and picture that person and tune into how are they looking? How are they feeling? What are they concerned about? Then do it with the second friend, write these answers down, and the next time you talk to them, See how what your intuition matched with how they are, and you will probably be surprised. A lot of different techniques like this. One, of course, we've heard this. So before you answer the phone, imagine who is on the phone. You keep doing this, and your, your intuition will get stronger and stronger and stronger. And like I said, when you do these, you can practice more than one of these modalities at any given time. And it kind of um, emphasizes it. So if you want to meditate, maybe do the essential oil with the crystals, with the music. The more you do it, the more you're going to get in that state to receive and trust. So now I'm going to go over a little meditation you can do to increase your intuition and activate that third eye. And again, this is my suggestion. 
adapt it to what's good for you and do it in combination with this. Put on that 852 hertz music, maybe some essential oils, maybe some crystals around you. Do a combination. But first, as I said before, any of this kind of work, relax. That's the first step. You relax. Some deep breathing and relax your entire body. Wherever you may feel some tension, see if you can breathe into it and release it. So you're in a very relaxed, receptive state. The second is set an intention. What is your intention for this meditation? What would you, um, what type of message are you looking for? Is it something specific about yourself or is your intention just to increase your intuition? Set an intention. The third is an affirmation and I have one right here. I awaken my third eye to strengthen and enable the full potential of my intuitive abilities. I'll read it again. I awaken my third eye to strengthen and enable the full potential of my intuitive abilities. So say that silently, write it down out loud. And then again, I said put on some music, some crystals, maybe some essential oil, and then do some more deep breathing. Box breathing is good. You inhale for four, pause for four, exhale for four, pause for four, and do that three to five times. Then I want you to try and picture a lotus flower on your third eye, right here, on your third eye. And imagine the petals are opening. And as the petals open, imagine it's opening the portals to your higher consciousness. And then just stay in this receptive state for five to 10 minutes and see what messages come to you. And don't forget the messages may come as a gut feeling, an image, a sound, a light bulb moment, be receptive to whatever comes. So sending you lots of love and light. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel.